Hi, in this video today, I'm going to be taking out the intake camshaft Thanos solenoid, and then I'm going to apply 12 volts to it to see it operate. Then I'm going to put it back in. This particular car is a 2013 BMW E92, and it's got the N43 engine. Let's get started. Things first, we're just going to pop the bonnet. And we need to take off this cover here using this screw, this screw, and this screw. These are all Torx 20. Right, that's those three out, and that's a T20 bit. And we just need to lift this out here and away from here, like so. Unlike me, you should be wearing gloves when you do this. This top one here is the intake solenoid. The bottom one is the exhaust. If you're curious, this is the position sensor for the intake, and this is the exhaust position sensor over here. So in this video, we're gonna be taking out this one here. So the key is out of the car and the ignition is not on. So I'm gonna be pushing in this one here, and I'm gonna be just unplugging that connector there. So you can see how easy that is to put in. You just push in there and take it out like so. Now we need to undo this bolt here. And we're gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket. And we're going lefty loosey, so counterclockwise. There we go. Now, when you take this out, a bit of oil will come out. So I'm just gonna place an old rag just underneath it to try to catch some. And I'm gonna try to wiggle it up and down to make it loose. Right, that's stuck on well, so I'm going to get a screwdriver. Right, I'm just going to gently try to lever from the top to loosen it up. You could always use some penetrating oil or something to try to loosen it. It's just held in with a little O-ring. I'm just moving it around. I'm going to move it back and forth like that to try to loosen it. Right, let's get nice and loose now. So I'm going to move it down to there. So I'm pushing this up here. So I've got a bit of room here to try to get my hand underneath. There we go. And when I take it out now, a bit of oil will come out with it. So we've got this little plastic spacer here, but it's left its O-ring behind. So I'm going to take out the O-ring, which is just here. Right, let's bring it down to the shed and test it. So I've got an old little bench power supply solder station here. I'm just going to increase the voltage here to 12. You can run it straight from a battery. Car battery, that is. There you go, 12 volts. Now, if I go across, so I have 12 volts at the end of the leads here. If you have a look at the solenoid, you have two contacts just there. So we just need to go across them. It doesn't actually matter which way you do it, whether it's positive negative or negative positive. It's gonna operate in both ways. And every time you tap it, you'll hear it move. If you hold it on there, it's not gonna move anymore. It just moves and stays there until you let go of the power. If you hear it do that, it's just because the, the lead hasn't made a good contact. There you go, and if you swap polarity, so hopefully you can hear that. If you were to drop this in some brake cleaner or IPA, you will actually see the oil will come out off the little holes on the inside. Hopefully I can shine the light in here and you'll be able to see it moving. Right, watch this now, I'm applying power now. And there you go, you can see every time I tap it, it comes out. And if I swap polarity, you can still see it comes out. Now obviously when you're dealing with oil and cars, you should be wearing gloves. So don't just copy what you see in this video. You wear whatever protective equipment you deem necessary. Now as you can see, these are actually brand new. So yours won't look like this. You'll probably have a load of crud around here. So give it a nice good clean with some brake cleaner or even IPA will hopefully clean it as well. So you can spray brake cleaner absolutely everywhere around here and then just shake it all out. And then you can install it again afterwards. But for me, 
cleaning them only worked for a short amount of time, I had to end up buying new ones. So uh, what you see here is a new one. So we're gonna install it again. You can see that I've got the O-ring and the spacer here. So spacer on first, then the O-ring. Let's get this fitted. Now, to install it, I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil just around the O-ring here to help it slide in a bit easier. Now we're gonna install it with the hole here for the bolt towards the right-hand side, electrical connector towards the left-hand side, just like the one underneath it. So gently put it into position, and it will take quite a bit of strength to push it in, because you've got the O-ring, which is gonna stop it from going in. There you go, so that went in nicely there. And I've just gotta to try to line it up so that the hole is where the uh, screw thread is. I'm just gonna start it off by hand. You are going into aluminium, so be very gentle with it. There will be a torque setting for these. I don't actually know what they are, so I'm just gonna do it up. I'm just gonna nip it up. I'm not gonna go crazy on here. There we go, that's it. So now I, I know I haven't cross-threaded it. There you go, I'm just nipping that up there, not tight at all. And the connection goes on with the metal facing you and it will just click into place, like so. And that's it, that's designed to wiggle there, that doesn't mean it's loose. That's the bit that gets bolted in, the metal bit. Now we just need to put this on. So I'm gonna line up the two front bits first and worry about the hose afterwards. There we go, so that's in its home. Put the hose in. There we go. And now let's do up the three screws. Now you're only going into plastic, so again, just nipping them up. There we have it. So there we have it. As you can see, quite a straightforward job. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.